Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji will receive President Donald Trump and the First Lady Melania Trump. A traditional welcome with the Khadi Angavastra or a stool. The significance being explained here to the President and the First Lady. And this is Hrde Kunj. This is where Mahatma Gandhi stayed during his 13 odd years here at Sabarmati. His presence is still palpable here. There is a deep sense of peace that permeates the air. His words still vibrate in the stillness here. The president will experience the essence of spiritual India as he enters this hallowed space. President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Modi. Gal ending the photo of Mahatma Gandhi ji there. And uh, we do see a prayer written downstairs. The prayer was written by Mahatma Gandhi in English and it was titled Lord of Humility. where he expressed, let us be embodiments of self-sacrifice, embodiments of godliness, humility personified, that we may know the land better and love it more. This is the meeting place where Gandhiji used to meet a lot of people. Interestingly, although Gandhiji lived here for 13 years, he didn't have a room to himself. He spent most of his time in this veranda, spinning the charkha or the spinning wheel, as we can see in the visuals. And that little room on the left was his study, where he wrote letters every day to people all across India who were connected with the freedom movement and people from all across the world who wrote to him. This is also where he met the leaders of the freedom movement and international guests. This is where various decisions regarding India's freedom struggle were taken. It was while living here that Mohandas Gandhi came to be known as Mahatma Gandhi. And this is the symbol of Self-reliance, the spinning wheel, charkha. The charkha was Gandhiji's great tool for empowerment and dignity of labor. President Trump and the First Lady giving it a try. It also has great spiritual significance. Gandhiji used to say one hour spent in spinning would be equivalent to an hour in self-development for the spinner. It's very meditative when you spin the charkha. In the meanwhile, Motera Stadium is a buzz 
with excitement. Lata Ben explaining how the yarn is spun. Most people trying the charka for the first time it can be a little unnerving, but once you get used to it, you understand <coughs> what Gandhiji meant when he called it the physical embodiment of his constructive program as a representation of Swadeshi, self-sufficiency, and at the same time, interdependence because the wheel is at the center of a network of cotton growers, carders, weavers, distributors, and users. It also embodied the dignity of labor, equality, unity, as all volunteers were to spin each day, and finally, independence was achieved. In fact, it has been called the livery of our freedom. That is what Kadi signifies for us. A few moments of introspection, <coughs> trying to absorb the essence of Mahatma Gandhi, his teachings, and his philosophy. It's hard to imagine this is exactly how the Mahatma would have sat here with his international visitors. He too had a great sense of humor. Interestingly, Gandhiji could write from both his hands. And sitting here in the veranda, he would meet a lot of world leaders and other guests as we now see the special visitor today, the American president, Donald Trump, now penning his thoughts in the visitor's book. Foremost in the movements launched by Gandhiji from this very place, the Sabarmati Ashram, was the 385 kilometer salt march from Sabarmati Ashram to Dandi on the South Gujarat coast. Interestingly, Gandhi Smarak Sanghalya Sabarmati is open on all days of the year from 8.30 in the morning till 6.30 in the evening. Daily about two to three thousand footfalls and on a holiday Sunday weekend that increases to about five thousand footfalls Mahatma Gandhi believed in an openness he used to say I do not want my house to be walled on all sides and my windows to be stuffed I want the cultures of all lands to be blown about my house as freely as possible, but I refuse to be blown off my feet by any. This perhaps is the openness that you talked about. The people of all cultures, all traditions came here. The three monkeys of Mahatma Gandhi speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil. These were originally given to Mahatma Gandhi by a Japanese monk and they became an essential part of his philosophy. And those philosophies, Jasleen, are still very relevant and encourage each one of us to ensure that we imbibe the core values of humanity, truth, 
non violence love compassion service sacrifice forbearance and equality the sangrale the museum consists of a gallery that is titled my life is my message and it consists of paintings photo enlargements of some of the vivid events of gandhi ji's life his quotations letters other relics there's a library too and prime minister narendra modi encourages one and all especially the youth to understand gandhi ji his philosophy connect with history there's the archives that ensures collection preservation and display of gandhi ji's writings photography voice records films personal belongings as we now see president donald trump interacting with the members of the gandhi smarak sanghalay sabarmati so these were few moments of reflection of going inwards before moving onwards towards the next leg mahatma gandhi said that to find oneself one has to lose oneself in the service of others and this is a pilgrimage where one can find this philosophy and through it find oneself and now from the sabarmati ashram the cavalcade will move to the new hotel